is contains a coin without water second contains coin with water you can see the difference in the thickness so this is due to refraction of light then third example is bending of pencil in a glass filled with water you can see it should be straight like it but it gets bent this is also due to refraction of light fourth is refraction of light through a glass slab first light falls on it it strike the this surface then it enters in glass slab and changes its direction then again it incidents on second surface and again it changes its direction so this change or this bending of light is called refraction of light now the next topic is types of medium types of medium first is rarer medium and second is denser medium a medium in which speed of light is more is known as optical rarer medium consider this situation in which you are on a clean clear road on which there is no traffic you can move anywhere and your velocity will be more same case is with the well velocity of or speed of light in air air is a rarer medium particles are very far because air is a gaseous medium as we have learned in chemistry that in gaseous medium particles are very far from each other if light incidents passes through such medium it feels less obstruction and its velocity will be more next is denser medium this is the opposite case of rarer medium in which speed of light is less how because in this case particles must be close together as compared to particles in rarer medium as you can see example of water water is a liquid state and in liquid state particles are comparatively comparatively close as compared to particles in gaseous state so if light passes through them then it will feel obstruction so that's why their speed the speed of light is less in rare sorry in denser medium now i will discuss with you types of refraction first is when light goes from rarer medium to denser medium so means speed of light in rarer medium is more than speed of light in denser medium light comes first here then it strike the surface which separates two surface two medium then it bends towards normal why because speed of light in this medium is more when it comes to denser particles are together so it will feel obstruction therefore it will bend towards normal so i can say that when light goes from rarer medium to denser it bends towards normal this is a case of light when it goes from rarer medium to denser medium second when it goes from denser medium to rarer means first medium light speed is less when it goes to second medium its speed will be more so that's why it bends away from normal like you can imagine yourself that you are coming on a clear road from a crowded place you will feel more free similarly light also feel free when it goes from denser medium to rarer medium now see this third situation when refractive index of two media are equal and light incidents normally 
this refractive index i will discuss later i will when light incidence normally then there is no refraction takes place as you can see incident ray parallel to normal so this is a case of no refraction no refraction now what is the reason behind this refraction the reason is refractive index every material has some refractive index even air also so first i will tell you absolute refractive index it is the ratio of speed of light in vacuum to the speed of light in any medium like you can see here n is absolute refractive index is equal to c by v where c is velocity of light in vacuum you know velocity of light in vacuum is 3 into 10 raised to the power 8 meter per second and and velocity of light in medium which we denote which we denoted by v so this refractive index causes bending of light when it goes from one medium to another so therefore i can say it is characteristic property of medium whose value depends on nature of material of the medium and color or wavelength of light refractive index depends on nature of the material like refractive index of air is different from refractive index of water like n a refractive index of air is different than refractive index of water or refractive index of oil and second is it also depends upon wavelength of light or color of light as you know in prism when light falls on prism it splits you, you must have seen with prism or scale when you see anything from scale you see spectrum of color spectrum of color means like the colors you see on rainbows so this is due to color due to dependence of different colors on refractive index this is this splitting of light through prism i will discuss with you later now i will discuss refractive index relative refractive index when we measure speed of light into two media relative refractive index of medium 2 with respect to medium 1 is equal to speed of light in medium 1 to the speed of light in medium 2 like in absolute refractive index you have written c by v if i say instead of c there is a medium which is not air then you can't write c here you will write something else so this is a case of ref relative refractive index in which we have two different media of different refractive index so that's why we have introduced this term relative refractive index this is a difference between absolute and relative in absolute we first media is air and second can be anything but in relative refractive index both media are different from each other so in relative refractive index the formula is n21 speed of light in media in medium 1 to the speed of light in medium 2 here you can see i have written n 
टू वन फर्स्ट फर्स्ट मीन्स दैट लाइट गोज फ्रॉम मीडियम टू टू वन लाइक इफ आई ड्रॉ लाइन हेयर दिस इज मीडियम वन एंड दिस इज मीडियम टू इट मीन्स दैट लाइट इज गोइंग फ्रॉम मीडियम टू टू वन इट कैन बी एनी थिंग बैंडिंग ऑफ लाइट कैन टेक्स प्लेस और बैंडिंग ऑफ लाइट टूवर्ड्स नॉर्मल और अवे फ्रॉम नॉर्मल टेक्स प्लेस इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द वैल्यू ऑफ रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स सो इन शॉर्ट आई कैन से दैट कॉज ऑफ रिफ्रैक्शन इज द चेंज इन स्पीड ऑफ लाइट वेन इट गोज फ्रॉम वन मीडियम टू अनादर वेर एवर यू सी रिफ्रैक्शन ऑफ लाइट इट इज ड्यू टू चेंज इन द रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स एंड दैट कॉजेज स्पीड ऑफ लाइट चेंज नाउ आई विल डिस्कस विद यू लॉज ऑफ रिफ्रैक्शन लाइक यू हैव स्टडीड लॉज ऑफ रिफ्लैक्शन सिमिलरली वी विल स्टडी लॉज ऑफ रिफ्रैक्शन हेयर सो फर्स्ट इज द इंसिडेंट रे द रिफ्रैक्टेड रे एंड द नॉर्मल रे ऑल लाई इन अ सेम प्लेन वट इज इंसिडेंट रे दिस which falls on surface normal which we draw normal to the surface separating two media this is one medium this is second medium and refracted ray is the ray in the second medium so in this case this is refracted ray as you can see in picture so this is so you can see incident ray normal ray and refracted ray all lie in a same plane means the i can draw all these three rays on on page if i cannot like this is x axis this is y axis if i say to draw z axis then you draw here it means that this z axis is not in the plane it coming it coming out but i cannot draw on the paper so that's why i have drawn z axis here but in case of incident ray normal ray ref refracted ray both three rays can be drawn on page that's why they lie on a same plane that's why our first law of refraction is they all lie in a same plane second is ratio of sine of angle of incidence to the sine of angle of refraction is constant for the pair of media in contact like i have discussed with you relative refractive index so if you take ratio just take ratio of sine of angle of incidence and sine of angle of refraction it will give you a constant which is refractive index which i have already explained with you that what is reflective refractive index see here this is glass slab light light comes here falls on this surface then due to change in refractive index it it changes its direction again on this surface it again changes its direction so this angle theta 2 is angle of incidence and this theta 1 is angle of refraction so what snell's law says that ratio of angle of refraction angle of incidence to the angle of refraction is equal to refractive index so here sin theta 2 upon sin theta 1 is equal to n2 divided by n1 sorry i repeat again snell's law says that ratio of angle of 
साइन ऑफ एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस टू द साइन ऑफ एंगल ऑफ रिफ्रैक्शन इज इक्वल टू रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स सो साइन थीटा टू डिवाइडेड बाई साइन थीटा वन वे साइन थीटा टू इज एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस एंड थीटा वन इज एंगल ऑफ रिफ्रैक्शन Why I have written n one and n two here because n one is c one by v one and n two is c two by v two. If you divide n one and n two, you will get a v two by v one. So you can see here. साइन थीटा टू डिवाइडेड बाय साइन थीटा वन इज इक्वल टू एन वन डिवाइडेड बाय एन टू इज इक्वल टू वी टू डिवाइडेड बाय वी वन सो दैट्स इट क्लास दिस इज द ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ लॉज ऑफ रिफ्रैक्शन थैंक यू